So today we are replacing the 16 of these 250 watt poly um, solar panels. We had 16 of them up there for 4,000 watts, 250 each times 16, 4,000 watts. We are replacing those with these. These are 400 watt mono bifacial split cell um, or half cell. So you got the half there, half there. And that, you can see the comparison of 250 watts versus 400 watts with a bifacial of another 100 watts on the bottom side for a potential of 500 watts. That solar panel can double what that is, the amp output and the watt output. And look at, it's almost the same size. It is only, um, I think, five inches taller and like four inches wider, not much. In comparison, this is a 330 watt half cell, but it's not bifacial. So it's just mono. These are mono, 330 watt. Those are used, those are used, and we got these brand new. And if you look at the back, you can see that the back has the bifacial on it. And so you actually have cells on both sides, the front and the back. Now, on this one, the 330 watt, you can see it's just a white back. So there's nothing on the back side. It's not bifacial, just regular. And the same thing with this used um, 250 watt poly panel. Now, the difference was I paid like $38, $40 for this one. And I paid $120 for this one. Brand new. This is used. And this is going to give me better production with shading. Um, if one half is shaded and the other one's in full sun, I'm going to get better production. With this poly panel, if I even have just this little corner right here, I might only get a half a watt or I mean a half an amp out of that and probably 40, 50 watts. If this little corner is shaded, I'll probably still get around 350, 400 watts. Big difference for the price that you pay. This is one third of the cost used of the new one, but look at how much more you will get. We're going to test these out and I think they're going to just totally kick the butt on those. And these are not bad. You know, like I said, they're, they're split cells. So that half down there and that half. So if this half has some shading on it, it's not going to produce that much. But it does have, have bypass diodes. And then this one, if it's in full sun, would still be producing like 180 watts on that. Or 165. It's half, so it's 330. So half of 330 is three, or 165 watts. So, but... We had 16 of these to get 4,000 watts. Now we only need 10 of these to get 4,000 watts. With the bifacial, an extra 1,000 watts, 100 watts on each panel. So we already have nine of them up here. We've been putting them up here. and We're going to have to mount them on there. And you can see that uh, the way they're up there. And they have connection here the connection is in the middle on the uh, 330 watt the connection is in the middle as well but on those 250 watt polys it's up on the top where the wires come out um, so you can see before we had one two three four panels five six seven eight so we had eight panels on one of these and right now we only have one, two, three, four. We have a half of this panel is half on this pergola and half on that one. So they um, fit pretty good on here. But you can see I've got that last one to go. And on there, you can see that it pretty much fits almost to the edge right here. So 10 panels versus 16 panels. 
Here's 24 panels right here, 6,000 watts. Um, if I added, if I put, um, would be like five more panels. Yeah, five more panels. If I had 15, 15 of these, that would give me 6,000 watts plus an extra 1,500 by facial. And there's 24 on there to get 6,000 watts, but I could get away with 15 of these and I could pretty much almost get 7,500 watts instead of 6,000. So big difference. So I'm really excited to check these out. Anyways, we're gonna get this last one up there. We're gonna get them mounted up there so that the, I don't think the wind's gonna blow them off. They, these were just slaying up there for the last three and a half years and I lost two of them during the monsoon. So <laughs> they weren't even bolted down, they were just laying on there. But we're gonna bolt these down on there and um, then we're gonna connect them all together and see what we get. We'll see you in uh, part two. So the last part of this video, we have the EG4 3000 watt inverter. Right now it's just in single phase, 120 volt output and single phase, 120 volt output. So right now I have, I have on here, um, the 10 solar panels that are 400 watt by facial split cells. I am, we're putting out nine, a little over 900 watts and 15, 16 amps on those. And over here on our 24, 250 watt panels, we're putting out 16 amps and not even 900. So right off the bat, we're putting out out of just 10 solar panels, we'll go outside in a minute, 10 solar panels, 400 watt, at 730 in the morning, we're already putting out 15, 16 amps on those 10 solar panels versus 24, 250 watt solar panels. So pretty good deal right there. So we'll go outside, take a look. So we have the actually the 24 solar panels only half of them are in sun and half of them are in shade here but we have these connected in a thousand watt arrays so there's six 1000 watt arrays on it 250 watt panels so we have one, two, three, four panels in series, and then one, two, three, four panels in series, and we parallel those two sets together all the way down. And so we have six 1,000 watt um, arrays in parallel with each other. And we're gonna be putting a, um, a box to where we combine our box, where we combine all those and we get a little better protection from like thunder or lightning strikes and stuff like that. But here's those 10 solar panels. We used to have 16 of these um, 250 watt panels up here, but now we only have 10 of these uh, 400 watt uh, bifacials that can give me up to 500 watts. So we'll see later on in the day if we get the reflection off the ground um, for picking up anything more on that. I don't even really know if I have anything that I could push over 4,000 watts on, on that um, inverter. I might have to connect it to something else. But um, you can see that we have the under, you can see the um, um, panel here on the back side where you have, where it'll pick up the sunlight. And actually it's picking up some pretty good um if you look down here there's a shadow on my hand but as we go up we have light that's bouncing off the ground so it looks like it might work pretty good here and we have quite a bit of open space on here we have some of these slats and two by sixes that are kind of blocking it 
but we should still get something off of it. But you can see it uh, blends in really well with those pergolas. And we did put a slight angle on it. It's kind of like a slight angle like this. So the water will drain this way and it'll drain that way in the back. So we, um, right now we have that 6,000 watt array connected on one leg. We have two MPPT charge controllers on that 12 kilowatt. And on one leg, we just connected these eight solar panels. So that's 2,000 watts. And we have these other 2,000 watt array. These are all 250 watt used um, solar panels, poly panels. So we have 2,000 and 2,000 and 4,000 on one MPPT. And then we have the 6,000 on the other one. So that gives us a total of 10,000 watts on that one array. And then on the other 12 kilowatt, we have this 1,500. These are all mono panels on here. Um, we have 1,500 watts here, 1,500 watts here, and so that's 3,000 watts. And, oh, actually, we just connected that. I'm sorry. Yeah, we got that over on that one. So that's 15, and then we also have um, 3,500 watts over on the... Um, on this array over here, there's 14 solar panels, 250 watt U solar panels. So once again, that is um, 3,500 watts. So 3,500 plus 3,000, 6,500 watts so far that we have on that. Now what we might be able to do is take and put these other right here these are actually connected to one of those eg4 3000s there's 4000 watts 2000 on each array uh if we really needed to we could switch those over to the other 12 kilowatt or um to either one of the 12 kilowatts because we're under paneled on both of those and um we could either use the 2000 array 2000 array 2,000 array and get the, um, actually that's 4,000. So we'd only need to take uh, that one and that one to be able to get our other 6,000 on that. And then we could use this on the other one that we have, or just use this on our uh, um, 2,000 watt on our uh, thing the way we did it in the garage we can move them around very easily we just got to turn the panels off and with a breaker dc breaker and we can actually uh switch those around so going back into the garage we So here's that grow watt that we have that's got um, 6,000 watt array and then a 2,000 watt array and a 2,000 watt array. So that's 10,000 watts on that. And then this one has 3,500 watts on one MPPT and it has 3,000 on the other. So it's got a total of 6,500 watts. And then this one has... Um, 4,000 watts on that back wall. And this is the one that has those 10, 400 watt solar panels. And we're already up to one kilowatt charging this at uh, 17, 18 amps. And it's quarter to eight in the morning. So that's a pretty good, and it's in the May, April, first third of April. And, uh, we're already getting that at 7.45 in the morning. So that's pretty nice. And we're charging up our two batteries. So overnight, we're at uh, 142 amp hours out of a possibility of 200. 
and we were down to 136. So on these two batteries overnight, we ran this seven cubic foot freezer, this five cubic foot freezer, this five cubic foot freezer, and this 24.5 cubic fridge freezer. And we ran the pool pump overnight. So we're running at 24 hours at 1,000 RPMs. And that keeps it chlorinated 24 hours a day and keeps the algae from growing. And we got the pool cover on there, so it's keeping it heated. Now we can actually go out there and turn our pool heater on at 7.45 in the morning. The way we have this set up, we can, once we get that battery charged up, that we're using to run those freezers overnight, um, we'll switch it over to a um, charge controller that's 5,000 watt input and a uh, um, 100 amp output, and we'll um, supplement the 12 kilowatt and run this in a little while. So we're gonna turn our pool heater on. This is a little 17,000 BTU pool heater. That is a 12.7 ton. That's 127,000 BTUs. And this is 120 volt. That's 230 volt. This thing has two 50 amp breakers <laughs> in my main breaker when I run it off the grid. And I have two 50 amp breakers on my off grid that I run it on. But it uses 6,500 there we go, that uh, pool heater just kicked on. We use 65 to 7,500 watts running this thing. And both of these will cool or heat the water. So right now we're, we're at 68 degrees pool temperature coming in. And it's usually about two to three degrees uh, when cooler when we start up because the water is cold in the lines until it starts pulling the water out of the pool. But we're running our variable speed pool pump to keep that chlorinated overnight and keep that water moving so we don't get any algae in here. And it's supposed to be in the 90s this weekend for the middle of April 2024, so we have no algae or anything in here because we're keeping that water running so beautiful april everything's in full bloom and got our solar system tuned in so please like share subscribe hit that notification bell if you have any questions notify me and uh, i'll answer them right away pretty much and hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed 2024